Do you refuse to pay for Glowforge Premium? Are you frustrated by the lack of features in the free version? Do you need to know how to find proper settings for non-proof grade material in your Glowforge Aura? Stick with us and we're going to show you how to make an SVG test file for your Glowforge Aura. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Janet. We're with Fleming Originals. If you don't have access to Glowforge Premium, then you don't have the ability to add shapes and you don't have the ability to add text to a design. So you need to create the design in a different piece of software and then upload it and then add your setting. Being able to test different settings on a piece of material can really help you focus in on the exact settings that you need to get the best cut or to get the best engraved possible. So if you want to save money by not having Glowforge Premium and by not buying proof grade materials and by not wasting many pieces of material trying different settings, then this test file is for you. When creating your SVG, you have several software options, three of which are Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, and Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Adobe Illustrator is probably the most common, but it is also the most expensive. Inkscape is another great choice, and it is free. However, we're going to focus on Silhouette Studio because many people coming to the Aura came from the Cricut community, the Silhouette community, and other cutters, so they may well have Silhouette Studio already. For Silhouette Studio, there are many levels, including a free version. However, you will need the highest tier, the business edition software, in order to make SVGs. It is a one-time purchase and there are usually coupons, so you won't pay more than $99 one time. Once you're in the software, it will look like this. Use the shape tool to make 10 circles. Once you've made the first circle, go to the top and lock. Hit the little lock. Change the circle to 0.25 inches. Next, Click on the pointer tool, click back on the circle, highlight the circle, copy it, and paste nine times. Next, highlight all 10 circles, click on the arrange tool, and align to the top. Now you need to change each circle to a different color. The color doesn't matter. It will just make sure that each circle is its own test when you take it into the free Glowforge software. To do this, make sure you're on the pointer tool, click on the circle, go up, to the line color. So the line is the red rectangle on the top left. Continue until each circle is a different color. Next, you can put a box around the circles that will help you align them better, but eventually we'll get rid of that. You'll just want to distribute them evenly, both vertically and horizontally using the arrange tool. Then you'll want to label the material. Let's use lath. Choose a font you like and you will engrave it on the material. You can choose the font from the top. There's also a font panel on the right, but I'm just choosing it from the top. And this is the font panel on the right. You click on the A and you have all your fonts right there. Next, you'll need to change the color again because this you will want to engrave. So it needs to be different than the colors of the circles. Go ahead and change the size. And we can't leave it like this. It will engrave the wood but cut out the circles and they won't be connected. So we need to add a box and make it look however you like. I like the rounded corners. So now I'm creating the box and that will be a cut line. Click on the first rectangle we made and delete it. I think I wanna go ahead and engrave the word speed. I'll enlarge the box. Oops, I missed. Okay, I'm going to type the word speed in a script font. I want to use, I think Osage. I need to click on the text tool. Type the word speed. Let's make it smaller.
to the same color as the lath strips for engraving. Let's make it a little smaller. We don't want this to be any bigger than necessary. I'm going to create a line. So once this is cut and engraved, I can just write the speed in on the blank line. Let's see if we can get the line aligned with the bottom of the circles. Click on the line, hold down shift, keep holding shift as you click on each circle, go to the arrange and cl click align to bottom. I need to change this line to our engraved color. I am not exactly sure where I want the material title. So I will play with that a little bit. We'll figure it out as we go. I want to add numerals to show the power level change. One through 10. To do this, I'll create one. I'll make it the size I like. Then I'll copy and paste the one nine more times. That helps me know where the material name will go. And then change two through 10 to the correct numeral. Make sure your numbers are aligned. Let's see if I can get better alignment. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, Command Z and it'll take it back to what I had before. That should be good enough. Let's change the color back to the engraved color. Now we can save it as an SVG. Go to File, choose Save As, then choose Save to the hard drive. You'll want to be mindful of where you're placing it and what you're calling it so it's easy to find. I placed it in a folder called Aura Test SVG. Now I'm naming it Material Test SVG and saving it inside that folder. This is very important. You need to change it from Studio 3 or whatever version you have to SVG. If you notice, there are many things you can save you can save it as an SVG, JPEG, a PNG, a PDF. For this purpose, we will always need an SVG. Now you have a test file you can use in the Glowforge free software. Once you have it in the software, you can test it and find the best settings for that material. You can edit it and make it work for all your materials. Check out what we do next. See you soon.